shutting down pages, reconstruction whole uh, pro format of YouTube. Why? Because the truth of these scriptures been coming out and tearing this devil apart, lifting up his uh his uh uh showing his nakedness, man. Go ahead. Woe to the bloody city! It is all full of lies and robbery. Yep, and robbery. You so-called white men, everything you got, you got it through robbery, man. You done stole everything from all your false identities that you go by. All your so-called hair, your uh, nationalities you claim to be, you stole. Unless you're going to say I'm a piece of shit Karzar, or I hail from the Caucasus Mountains, you lying. Want the bathroom? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Read the rest of that, alright? The prey departed not. The prey departed not. Right, man. You got a predator, which is a so called white man, who's hunting you niggas down day in and day out, man. And you are the prey. Who is that, uh, Minister Society? Yeah, he say the hunt is on. <laughs> and y'all the prey. He should be. He shook. That little second chin shook like a motherfucker. But he was right. You niggas ought to pray, man. And you departed not, man. This devil ain't let up just because you're not out in no cotton fields. Just because you ain't got shackles on your feet. But you got shackles on your mind. That make you think that you have to submit to this devil. Just because when you go show up on your job site, he there with the suit and tie. When they speak of who passing down the rules and regulations from corporate, it's a cracker on the face. This devil ain't let up one bit, man. That's why y'all walking through the streets lost and ain't got a damn penny to your name, man. And if you do got a job, all you doing is paying bills and figuring out how you gonna get enough groceries to make it to the next check. Read that one more, run through that one more time while the brother gets there. Now you want three and one. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. That's right. This devil is still lying and he's still robbing and stealing as much as he can. He didn't conquer two niggas completely. Now he continued his conquest into all these Middle Eastern uh, uh, lands. Going into the coast of Africa, starting turmoil and, and, and problems over there. So he can slide in with his democracy and Christianity, man. You got them labeling uh, Hamas as a terrorist organization, but people don't listen to the key words that they said. When all this shit, stuff, all the turmoil and Hamas start jumping off is when y'all brought democracy over there, man. <coughs> all these riots didn't start until you start telling the people that y'all need a voice of their own. Goddamn devil, nothing follow you but rape, rob, and murder, man. That's, how, that's, that's like, yo, that's all you are, man. That destroying power. And you niggas got nerve enough to think you free with this devil and rulership? When no aspect of your life is free? Yeah, you can roam through the city, but the, you contained in this city. Why? Because you got to take your ass to work. You niggas can't stop and say, you know what? Yeah, I want to go take a trip somewhere. You're going to have to go to the white man and get approval. You're going to have to get it. You got vacation in time, you got to go submit that. You might have all the vacation time you want, but you know what they might say? Oh, so-and-so on vacation this week, you can't go. That's freedom. <laughs> go ahead. I... Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Who is we? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are yet this day in your <laughs> captivity. You are slaves under the so-called white man's power structure. You are the barons that's keeping this machine going. And the only thing gonna stop this motherfucker is a big ass monkey wrench at the most high about to throw in here, man. 
Go ahead. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. For thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse. That's right. That was one of the main curses. The most I scattered us, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans across the four corners of the earth, man. To be what? A reproach and a curse. Everywhere you go, you demonize. Talk shit about. Look at these ignorant niggas. Look at these dirty Mexicans. What these goddamn Native Americans doing off the reservation? Get your ass back in there and make some cigarettes. Everywhere you go, y'all are working for a fucking joke, man. Go ahead. And to be subject to payments. To be subjects to payments, man. Ain't no getting past that. Even if you making it good, your ass still under uh, subject uh, uh, to paying these bills. And then Jake get under the illusion that just because he even got a good paying job to this so-called standards of America, that, man, he want to live beyond his means. Jake can't just get his daily bread and be content. He got to compete with the next man. So what you going to do, you going to end up with more debt and fucking bills. Because you trying to live up to the white man's uh, living standards, man, in his kingdom. Go ahead. And Esau pushed that all the time. You know what I'm saying? This is the American dream. If you don't have this, then you ain't living right in America. So, and Jake just get caught up in that, and they breaking their back to getting that so-called way of, of life, you know? Yeah, you making $30,000 a year, but you trying to get into a $50,000 house, $100,000 house, pulling loans and looking into your 401k. You niggas, is can't see that this is nothing but a trap for y'all, man. This devil ain't doing nothing but setting big bad traps everywhere. From your school systems to the woman you love so much. It's all a trap, man. Fucking college, that shit a joke, man. You an idiot. If you sit in college right now with high hopes, you a fucking idiot. When they didn't had on regular news all the reports of the college graduates who can't get jobs who owe all this money in uh, student loans and can't pay the shit off. How the hell are you going to pay off student loans when you barely paying your light bill? Every other month your phone cut off. Ruth chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Well, thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers this was our punishment man for the iniquities that we committed in our past lives man go ahead which departed from the lord our power that's right we departed from yahweh by shim yahweh man we fell off from following the law statutes and commandments we fell off from giving our uh, praises and glory unto the most high man Y'all want to set up kings and men to be your rulers when you got an ultimate ruler with a perfect law. But no, you want to trust in flesh and blood, man. Y'all had the most high deliver y'all from the hands of the Canaanites and Philistines. And y'all begging uh, for the, uh, a king now like the other heathens. Give us a king like the other heathens have. Give us a man to worship. And even the man the most I said, okay, I'll give you a king. You set up Saul, and what Saul did let y'all be uh, for destruction, man. That's enough. Uh, that was it. This is Haggai, one in six. Yeah, so much, and bring in little. But you have not enough. Yep, y'all the ones breaking your backs on these job sites. Y'all the reason that the so-called white man, these elites, stay in, uh, in their they businesses and staying pumping and thriving, man. It can't happen without y'all, man. But y'all don't see that. Why? Because you're still in a slave mindset. You're still slaves. Only a slave don't recognize that he got the power. You know what, if we walked off this motherfucker right now, this devil ain't making no more money. But why? You've been beaten into submission. This devil don't need you in chains no more. 
He don't need to be right in your face telling you you're a slave. You tell yourself that shit when you wake up in the morning. But then get outside and talk about you free. But on the job site, what these motherfuckers do the whole day is bitch and cry about the job. Start that over from the top. This is Hagar, uh, one in six. You have so much. And Brig getting little. That's right. Y'all doing all the work and ain't getting shit, man. Y'all ain't got shit to show for it, man. <clears throat> You goddamn got this to call uh, throw up a house in fucking half a day. Paint that motherfucker, do all the carpentry, electri electrical work, and then go back to a piece of shit ass apartment with two other families living in the house. And now you got a piece of shit cracker that had fucking had riches passed down to him because of the bloodshed that his uh, uh, forefathers had benefited from. And all they doing is passing their riches down the line. Come move into the house, you just bust your ass, got splinters and fucking blisters all on your hand. Sudden and beat your ass up. Now you gotta go home to a fucking uh, uh, limited amount of tortillas and refried beans. Why this motherfucker sitting fat? Go ahead, all right? <clears throat> you eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. That's right. First off, just physically, y'all ain't getting enough, man. And I'm gonna just touch on, like, on the spiritual aspect, man. Y'all ain't getting shit, man. Y'all empty vessels right now. Y'all claim y'all love the Lord so much, but y'all ain't getting no understanding. Why? Because you running in a harlot house who at the top is dictated through this devil, man, because of these 50C3 charters, 501C3 charters, man. But just with that scripture talking about, man, y'all putting all this work and you ain't got enough to eat and drink, man. But y'all can't see that. Your supervisor don't do shit all day. You think he going home worrying about what he gonna eat for the night? You think he driving home trying to run through his head how many bills he need to pay at the end of the week? Hell no. Get some more. Ye uh, clothe. Alright. Uh, ye clothe you, but there is done one. And he that earned wages, earned wages to hmm. be put into a bag with holes. In a bag with holes in it, man. You sit up there and you get your damn check. You look at First off, you look uh, initially before they hit you with taxes, the money you should have had. Then you, it been middle of the year. You look at all the money you made at the year, throughout the year, and you broke as fuck. That shit pisses me off when I look at my paycheck stub. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck? I made this much money and I ain't seen shit. And ain't got shit to show for it. Read the end of that one more time. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to be put into a bag with hope. That's right. Then say shit. Uh, you go, beginning of the year, you go to file taxes. You done worked your ass off for a whole year. And this devil might tell you, oh, you owe money. You ain't paid enough taxes. Yep. That's completely bullshit. But you niggas still trusting this system. You still looking for some type of... Uh, uh, deliverance from the same devil that's oppressing you, man. How stupid is that? Right. Hosea, <clears throat> chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hey, real quick, get that on camera, bro. Oh, As is. in the days of Noah, they shall be given in marriage. You niggas a uh, goddamn spick is gonna follow the protocol of this so-called white man. I guarantee you it's a goddamn nigga. He probably broke his fucking whole savings account to get that damn limo and ride through pissy ass downtown. Couldn't even get a good enough banner on the back. My bad, go ahead, I yeah. Hosea, chapter four, verse six. 
My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Whose people? The most highest people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are utterly destroyed for lack of knowledge. The truth is running rapid on the internet. You got men of the Lord bringing out the truth all across the globe, but y'all denying that truth for folly and ignorance, man. To be a coon in America. To stay up to date with the trendy fads. When the fuck did all these damn striped wife beaters and shit come in? The, man, shit, I, who, I didn't get the memo, man. You niggas got knowledge on everything but righteousness, man. Go oh, ahead, yeah, bro. Grab a... Right. Get your precept. Because thou hast uh, rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That's right. You have rejected the knowledge of the Most High, man. What she set up the men of the Lord to bring out. You scoff, mock, talk shit. You didn't have the truth broken down to the simplest form, man. You got the men of the Lord showing ultimate love by bringing out this word raw to you, man. Not trying to sugarcoat it. Not trying to disguise it as something smooth, giving you the straight truth, man. But y'all don't want it, man. You reject it. So what it say the most high gonna do to you? Uh, all right, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. That's right. The Most High going to reject your ass, and you forgot his law, you forgot his word, so he going to forget you, man. Grab Hebrews 12 and 6. Y'all bastards right now, man. The most high ain't dealing with two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They have not known me. So all you holy rollers, y'all lying, man. Talking about 